Let's take a look at the bumps themselves. In Audition, it's really simple to zoom in and out of various views, not just time like this, which is obvious, but also in a couple of different ways. If I come over here to the side, if I click on the right, I have more logarithmic, more linear, and I love key commands. This in this case is option, command, up and down arrow. You can select whatever you want. So let's take a look at what this looks like. If I go up, that's as far up as I can go. And what it means, if you look over here, all of the base frequencies are maximized. So I've got eight hertz, all the way up to 100 hertz, taking almost a third of the visual. And then everything from 20K to 10K mashed up at the top here. So if I really want to get down and dirty with something low frequency wise, I go that way. Conversely, if I go down, I get the opposite effect, something more linear, right? There's a lot more frequencies between this octave of 22 kilohertz and 2 kilohertz. I mean, well, 23. Or eight, yeah, 20,000 more hertz uh, or hertz. So you can expand that if you need to do something in the high frequency range. So up and down. Another thing that you can look at is the resolution. Increase spectral resolution, decrease it. And I'm going to use the key commands and watch what happens here. You can really kind of hone in what kind of ways you want to look at this. And I'm just going shift command up and down. Again, change your key commands to suit. And I'm going to start here and find a resolution that I like, probably something like this. So just to hone in, um, in the past, it was, it was difficult for me to kind of get comfortable with this particular spectral view until I realized those keys were available. And then that makes editing in this much easier. In the tools menu, it's slightly different than what you would have in some other programs. You certainly have the time key where you can select anything in time. You certainly have the, you know, rectangular selection. You've got lasso, no problem. You've got the brush, which is uh, always at 50% opacity. You have to move over it a lot of times if you want it to select everything 100%. And then, of course, you have the auto heal brush tool. But there is no frequency tool. In other words, there is no way for you to be able to beam across a certain frequency like this without doing what I just did, which is dragging. So be advised of that. Also be advised that there is no way in Audition to be able to do a selection like this, go to the lasso tool and do something like hold down option and unselect. So you have a limited way, a limited fashion in being able to select. In fact, if I go here and I want to alter my selection, I can by holding option and I can do all those things. I can also hold shift and do all that. But if I want to then add more by going to a different tool, unfortunately it deselects. So you're stuck to one tool. And in fact, even in the rectangular tool, I can only do one thing at a time. So hopefully they'll work that out. But in the meantime, for, for fixing bumps like this, it's shooting fish in a barrel. So I've got the lasso tool. Just like in Photoshop, I'm gonna select the whole bump. That's definitely him. In Audition, you have something that you don't have in other programs, which is the ability to not just kill it 100% or in some kind of attenuation, but actually boost or just remove by absolute frequencies. And in this case, that's very, very useful for us. Our students are dropping out. And I've got a little bit of a hit. Students are dropping out. A little bit of a bump right here. So let's undo. And we'll select this bump that we missed here. Because we're still in the lasso tool, I haven't gone to some other crazy odd tool. I can just select. Definitely. We're going to turn it off. Go back to time. Students are dropping out. And there's a little bit of a hump here for those of you who have headphones on. So we're going to undo. Actually, we're going to redo that and then just tell it to a new selection. And just select this wump that didn't quite get erased. There. That's nice. Cute. Students are dropping out. So and that's all gone. Now let's try, well, let's see. This one should be nice and easy for us. Let's zoom in a little bit more. And if you've been on the Sound Advice Tour, you've seen us do this with other programs, but we really wanted to show you how to do this in Audition since Audition will certainly do it. That's pretty good. We'll turn it off. See how we did here. Time tool. Parents urging. Be parents urging. Now there's a bunch of overtones up here. So let's undo and select those as well. Without selecting his voice. Let's 
Let's see how that did. Their parents urging. Be cool. And we still have a little bit of a bump left in here, so we'll fix that up with the lasso tool once again. Just like in other programs, sometimes you have to silence more than once just because of the nature of how the math works. Parents urging. Because parents urging. Because parents urging. Be cool. That's gone. You'll notice there's a black bar in here, and you can hear that uh, like a gating. Parents urging. Because and I'm going to show you how to fix that in the next chapter. But for now, we're just getting rid of bumps. This one's much more difficult because it's in the middle of his word. Of a high school, of a high school, of a high school. You can see it kind of coming up into here. So we're going to have to kind of cut around. Go to the lasso tool for now. We'll select this. We'll hold down shift and select this because his voice is definitely not down in there. We'll also kind of cream bit this. Great, we'll turn that down. And what happens now? Value of a high school, value of a high school. Well, that's really nice. Uh, now we'll do it again, just to get, make sure we get all of it. Still in there a little bit. That looks much better. Value of a high school, value of a high school. Now you still hear some of it ringing in. We might, if we were daring, go and try this, all of this here to silence this. silence that see what happens value of a high school diploma value of a high school diploma which is pretty good so you can totally do all of these kinds of edits and get in the middle of this and start cutting away in audition Even if you're